Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. Study the case of David. Of all, all the things that David did, God still said, This is a man after my own heart. So that is not the message of today. I was just building a foundation for what I wanted to say. What I want to say is the Biafran struggle which we are in is of a two phase. It's of two phase. In this two phase, two phase of battle, one phase is called diplomatic warfare. The second phase is conven conventional warfare. I can use a layman language. Physical war that you can see. And remember, when God see these people through from Egypt, as the Bible tells us, to the land of Canaan, the promised land, they cried for water, God gives them water. They saw miracles in the wilderness. Still, they, they keep on doubting. There's a place they call, there is a water. When they get to that water, the, the Bible said the people cannot drink because the water was bitter. The, what, the place is called Mara. Mara, I believe Mara means bitterness. So, they get to the place, they did not see water to drink because the water they found there was bitter. The same God who is the pilot of the movement of freedom, like we are today, told Moses. And every movement, there's always a Moses. And when you get a Moses, also you will have error. Everybody has a place. Everybody has his office. Your job is to lift the hand of Moses. If your position is a position of error, put your eyes and focus there. As an error. If your place is a place of Joshua and Caleb, they are the people that bring a good report. Put yourself there. Make a difference. That's why I played those things I played before I started this program. So, in that place, they saw the miracle because the water was bitter. God told Moses, cut a wood. Throw it inside the water. The water will be good for you guys to drink. Moses did. And remember, Moses is the person that received instruction direct from God, not the people. He only get the information, the inspiration, and pass to the people. Like we have Moses, we have uh, Joshua. So we have Mazin and the Kano. So we have Simon and Ekba in this journey. Now, I want to explain to you understanding the time. It is a teaching. I'll make it brief because you must understand the time so that you'll be in a good page. You'll be in the same page with us. So, and I use the example of things that are happened because 90% of their friends are Christian. In fact, 99% are Christians. Let me use 95 95% are Christians. 5.5 are maybe believe in tradition. It's only 0.0.000.1 are the ones that are into whatever they are into. So that is not my message of today. I want you to keep on sharing this message for people to understand the time. Because when we all as a Biafra understand the time where we are, there will be no issue. Um, Mazi, when you are through with your call, please let me know. Um, Mazi, that is in the studio with me. When you are through with your call, because you were making call, that's why I meet you. So if you are through, let me know. So, 
They saw the miracle of Mara, the bitterness that will turn to sweetness. They saw the, the miracle. When they get to inside the same wilderness, they say it's only cucumber. Like what some, some of you are murmuring. Countdown has come and gone. Nothing happened. Um, 20, like somebody dropped some voice notes. 29th of May has come and gone. This and this and that because they don't understand the time. Now, when the people did not understand Moses, the Bible said, Miriam is the senior sister of Moses. And the time is, she spoke against Moses, she became leprosy. She became leper. When God placed a leader over you, know how you caution that your leader in his mistake. Because David was dancing, almost dancing naked. The wife, the, the, the son's daughter, who was his wife, and said, see how you dance naked. Likewise, most of you are telling Master Simon Ekba, see how you dance naked. See how you make a mistake. Simon may make a, a, a statement. I don't say he's, he's angel. I don't, even angel make a mistake. After all, angel was sent from heaven to earth. They saw ladies on earth and decided to sleep with them and remain on earth. So he is not God himself that does not make a mistake. Even Bible still wrote and said to us, in the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 6, that God regretted that he made man. So if God can regret of making man, meaning making man was a mistake based on what the Bible wrote there, that was said, don't expect 110% from Simon. Or even me that is talking to you or anybody. But what we are saying is, you must understand the time we are. I think you series and series and series of journeys of Israelites. When they said, is it only like as the fallen angel has departed now? The people has done that in the camp. When Moses was angry, Moses said, I want to prove to you that God called me. That if this men die as men, die a natural death, they should know that God did not call him. And I push them. He said, go and bring um, Ethan. Let's offer sacrifice to God. Okay, please, can you mute? Yes. Uh, please, mute. I will, I will yes. give you the stage. I'm trying to build okay. the foundation. So, okay. Now, Moses pushed them to go and offer sacrifice to God. And ask God and ask them to offer because they say, Is it only you, Moses, that God speak to? What about we? God can as well speak to us. God said, Moses said to them, Go and bring a boy, take his hand. Let us go and offer sacrifice to God. If you die a natural death, you know that God did not call me. They went. The Bible says, The earth opened and swallowed that and Quran and Abraham there. Earth open and swallow them and close back because they challenge the leadership. Even if you feel that the leader is making mistake, there is a polite way you can correct him because wisdom is not monopolized. Nobody monopolizes wisdom. So what I'm trying to say is that if you understand the time we are into, you will not call. You will not say things that you cannot say in public. Like I used to tell people, if I'm talking to you, no need of you recording me because there is nothing I will say in secret that I cannot say open. If you like, do that. Do the, anything, anytime I say, call me. And before I make a statement, anywhere I am, I ask myself, this thing I'm saying, can I come in public and say it? I will tell myself, yes. So I fear nobody. And I am a man who will say it the way I see it, the way I feel. But even as that, there is an authority. The Bible said you should respect the constituted authority. The Bible also said 
You should not remove ancient landmark that were made before you by your ancestors. Simon Ekwa has been put as your leader to lead you in this journey we are today. Mind the way you talk, careless. So, the battle we are now, this is my main message. Because you have to understand the time. I have to teach you the time so that you'll be carried along. You will know where we are going. The battle we are fighting is two-face battle. Face face is diplomatic war. I will first of all explain the diplomatic war. Diplomatic war is like Master Simon said, we have been we have written to 85 countries of the world. Do you know why we are writing? We are trying to build relationship with them so that by the time we come up to declare Republic of Biafra, you will see these nations will rise up to say, we recognize you, we recognize you, we recognize you. So when you don't understand the time we are, the time we are, we are building the foreign alliance, foreign alliance, nations that will recognize us by the time we will rise up to declare Republic of Biafra. So these are the cardinal points. This is the most important thing that you must handle. Because if you don't handle that, if you don't fight diplomatic war and win, when you go and declare the Republic of Biafra, they will put, impose sanction on you, more hardship. Some of you that are capping careless, even at those days in the in the in that side, they say you cap careless. Some of you that are talking careless, we still come back and said, you have brought us here to die, as they told Moses. So, we have every manpower, we have the capacity to come up today and declare Republic of Biafra. So for that reason, we now sit down to consider how far have we gone in building, in fighting the diplomatic war. That's why you see that the government in Asia has been able to write to EU, write to UN. We are not writing them because they are coming to help us. We are putting them on the news. We are winning the ones we can win to our side so that whenever we come up to declare the Republic of Biafra, you will see people recognize you. These are the four that we do. These are the mistakes of Ojuku. And we have studied the mistake of Ojuku and we decided to correct it. If it was not only, if it was not a Gabon, Ivory Coast, uh, Haiti, few of these nations that supported us would have been more here. So if we come up today and declare the Republic of Biafra, expect jet bombers from the zoo, expect Heavy machine gun. Expect this one not be that kind of 16 rounds rocket launchers. They say we go to Ukraine war. Study it and you see that we need to finish the diplomatic war. That one you are expecting is very, very simple. It's very, very simple. The time we are now is diplomatic war. Well, at the back, we are defending our border. We are defending our land from the invaders, Fulani's men, and their king's men. So, that is why I am here today to let you know there is a kind of war, two types of war. You cannot be in your comfort home, you expect to see, when you misunderstood the time, you will what? misunderstood the time for diplomatic war and time for conventional war. So, um, Mars, that is in the studio with me, are you free or you are still busy? Because I want to bring you to the stage. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Now, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. I hope you have been following up on this topic. Yeah, I'm I'm following you. No matter some Sorry. distractions, but I'm still following. I see. 
So when you're making call, yeah. always remember to mute. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so, like from the base, you you know, um, our village we used to make a parable. You were a member of uh, the Afro government in exile. You were a member of everything we are doing. And you know, like I was saying, these are two types of warfare that we are facing. One, diplomatic warfare, which we are doing today. The last one will be the conventional warfare, which we can come and declare war. Anything they bring will defend our land and our people. So please fire for five minutes. Thank you. from here, dear friends, uh, my greetings to everyone, all uh, lovers of freedom. And may Chukwu record bless everyone of Hebrews protection. May Chukwu record Biyama. He said, um, on what you are saying, you know, um, as an Ufekamu Hombeke and Koko, I was listening to one voice note today when somebody was asking one of autopilot. Somebody sent me one voice note. Somebody was telling me uh, uh, one uh, one of our uh, uh, where did the Simon on uh, May? Simon promised that on April. Simon promised that. Uh last one he said everybody who's who live his family lives in the northern side have to come down, have to come down. If not, what this and that. Did any of your family come down? You know, I was just listening. I didn't even finish the the voice note. I just delete it because it's people who are nicompoon. They don't know what is called freedom, how to fight freedom. This freedom is not, not like you wake up in the morning, you drink tea. You have to prepare. And we learn. If you follow anybody that follows us, we know. When the time, as you said, on the time and the season, the war will be in so many ways. And uh, do you know what? The, the, one of the one of the upon the the zoo used against Biafra during the, the propaganda. They use Aziki propaganda. They use our own people propaganda. They have the BBC propaganda. They will. They were able to cover us with. We don't have radio. Ojibu can just tell what you can. But they have the airwave. They spread fake news. It was later that America find out. That, no, it's not what they will. They find out is something else. Now they start to change their mind. They start to change their mind. It's propaganda. There is that you see. The for our prime minister to be on the forefront that first time of the election, do you, do you know what happened? For the first time, they put a bounty on the prime minister. He made he, he brought he brought us on the forefront. On the he brought us on the forefront. Everybody was crying, their head was on fire. Nigerian government has to go to Finland. Can you imagine? Is can you tell any member of the DOS? Where they, put, they nobody even declare even uh, nobody even they never even put ten thousand naira bounty on them ten thousand naira how much they put on our prime minister fifty thousand nobody naira dollars yeah. then this is propaganda people who don't know how to fight they just, they just wake up in the morning and declare the offer and that will be the end no we don't we learn from the mistake of our forefathers. This time we are going on all four fronts, all the four fronts, on ground, diplomatically, everywhere, anywhere we can, and the, everybody, you know, all the media warriors, everybody was unleashed. We were prime minister unleashed all front. Us, everybody, you are talking, I am talking. If people, some people are tweeting, people are even go. I only I even go evangelism. Biafra in evangelism on ground, talking to people who don't know what is Biafra. And I know how many people I have 
I, I gave the plant, I gave the our uh, link to check everything about the Afro. It's part of those propaganda. People who doesn't know that the Afro, even African countries, do you know there's somebody in Ghana? I was told, he told me, I told him Biafra, he said, what is Biafra? He don't know anything about Biafra. A person in Ghana, I couldn't believe it. I said, what? I talked to some African or somebody in Rwanda, he doesn't know what is Biafra. Even in Congo, even I, I talked to men, they don't know what is Biafra. Then I have to take time to lecture them what is Biafra. If not everybody talk about Biafra now, they know. I went on evangelism, I talked to them, they now know what is Biafra. A lot of them. So this is what we, we, are, we unleashed on the world, just to, to bring us in the forefront of Biafra. And they, this new people will sit in their comfort zone, waiting for miracle to happen. And these people contribute even one fighting in the struggle. One fighting. All they want is they want us to fail. I mean, do you, are you satisfied being a slave? Are you satisfied being a slave? I was talking to my friend Chukwudi this morning. He was telling me uh, somebody said uh, uh, one of uh, fallen angel was telling him uh, uh, Simon said look at Simon what Simon did he removed the, the name of uh, uh, MNK from the uh, Donald Trump something and Chukwudi was telling them what happening to you we are we are fighting full army. All you people do every morning is to wake up and look for Simon's comment. So fighting for Lani, Simon becomes your topic. Eh? Our prime minister becomes your topic. Instead of you fighting for Lani, now you left for Lani, now you're fighting your own brother. Why can't you now, 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 Simon? Let me, let, me, let me interject a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. there's things that people don't know. They want to talk about uh, removing name or no remove name. Anything that happened between Simon and Trump is Trump is Simon that worked it out for 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 Biafra for himself and for Biafra. So he is the one that who worked it out. So if they call his name, it is the relationship part of the relationship that is building. And somebody may ask, "Shall we say Biafra is coming today, uh, this year?" Uh, Trump said. Uh, election is next year so i you see that i don't know why people does not reason before they talk um like our leader mazina they kind of said fools grow old and when they grow old they become old fools so finish yes. up with your remaining two minutes yeah and uh, what they, uh, i want to add do you know uh, uh let me ask you when the during uh, I think 2015 or no 2018 uh, or I think during uh, who does Onion uh, do supported in the election? Is it not Trump? Hasn't you watched the video of Onion Onion talking about Trump? Eh? As a matter of fact, Onion do started this thing that Prime Minister finished. He started it, and Prime Minister finished it. Onion do supported openly. I was watching the video. He was talking about Trump. And when Trump won the election, didn't you see jubilation in, in Biafra land? There was jubilation yeah. in Biafra land because when they did, and the full and go to do a Trump war and they go to attack our people. Huh? Hello? Are you saying something? So, so, what these people are doing, I don't understand. Why can they cannot read the hard line, handwriting on the wall to see that there is rain? I mean, rain is coming. There is cloud in the in the in, uh, there's a cloud in the sky. You read, you know, the, the birds, uh, the birds they migrate when there is winter. They migrate when there is summer. They migrate. This is how they read the hand handwriting. They read the sign what is coming. They just, they don't, uh, our prime minister said, you will sleep in Nigeria and you wake up in Biafra. It would be like the, how the, the Bible said it, the coming of, the coming of uh, the Redeemer, coming will be like a, 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 a like being in the middle of the night. It will be like a dream for them. 
it will be like a dream. They will not believe, they will not what they will they will not believe what they see before they know it bam. What in the Afra? It will, will happen to them. They let's keep ranting. Keep saying what they say. Do you, instead of you fighting one for any, no, you know, uh, I was telling uh, one of the program of our prime minister, those before before everything started, I, I please. Uh, your Excellency, you need the, you have a, we have a very big wall not only to liberate these people, these evil people called the Biafras, no, especially the evil people, not only to liberate them physically, but mentally to liberate them from slavery is terrible. You know, what the liberation of mind is first of all, you have to liberate people. You know, I was watching one of Onyendo's programs was angry, very angry and hard on people. Oyendu said, do you know why I talk to them? They say I'm harsh. I talk, I don't respect anybody. He said, because you have to liberate their mind first. Because if you don't read their mind, they will not think. Liberation is yielding fruit. Because a lot of people now wake up. Now, when we get the Afra, these people, these people, we have to to liberate them again from mind is gonna be a tough work because they, their mind are still in prison. They they don't think the zoo which animal kingdom has messed them up. Do you know after my Sunday school days, eh? I after the Sunday school, and uh, some of my we were, we were living in dormitory. Some people left left the dormitory. They went into some people go to their house. Some people go to something. Everybody left. Do you know, I, I went away, I couldn't, the life outside dormitory, I couldn't, outside school, I couldn't cope up. I had to go back and stay in the dormitory, stay back in the school for more than three weeks again. And everybody's looking at me, what this guy is doing here? Every, I think we have sent you guys up. We have sent you up. You have, what are you still doing here? You know why? In my head, those two, in my head, my head is still in the school, but my is supposed to be out. And if I find myself still living the life I was living in the school. It takes, it takes people to push me out from the, from the dormitory if I could leave. So we have to find a way when the Biafra comes to be able to liberate these people because I can't even imagine somebody you come to liberate fighting you instead of fighting the Polani. So, if, like, example, so, um, God forbid, my brother, well, God forbid, if anything, um, maybe they say Prime Minister took one week, he didn't, he didn't show up on 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 uh, social media. They don't hear from him. You know, you will see people jubilating. Can you imagine that? Jubilating? How, oh, we don't hear from him. Is he dead alive? Can you imagine some of people like this? You know. I don't know. These people makes me angry. You, I go back to when sometimes I was in the zoo. I sit on one corner at the bus stop. I watch people. People behaving like animal. Only in those named it animal kingdom. They are behaving like animal. Some blowing on people. The other one open the the cover, open the boot, bring Jack. You want to hit somebody, and you can see chaos, catastrophe, catastrophe, chaos. I was coming one. They're driving at the roundabout. I was on the right side. Somebody came from nowhere. Oh, you want to hit me? And I was on the right side. And he, he, he parked a car. He, he, he calling me Onyo uh, Gwego. Uh, Onyo Gwego. Can you imagine that? So, my brother, uh, mm -hmm. I want to tell our people, please, uh, let nobody listen to this me from poor people. Let us focus. Let us focus. They, let them not draw us backwards. We, our eyes, we should be on the ball. Anybody who has money, anybody has something to contribute. Everybody has something to contribute. Your name has to be written in that book, on the golden book. Our prime minister said, even if you contribute further, your name will not be missing. In that book, you, you, you have something to enjoy. You know, those, when we get Biafra, you have something to tell your family your own children Thank or your you. own parents that you. you contributed this. Please, let everybody... Today is um, fundraising. Today is fundraising. Please, even if you have $50, 
or 20,000 naira, whatever you have, bring it. Your name will be written there. That at the end of the day, you have something to, when we are celebrating, we celebrate. So my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you and bye-bye.